thing that we want to talk about is the theme of the camp. One of the words that was used earlier in the workshops was param. Who remembers that word? Param. Alright, awesome. Not many of us. Okay, so that is Gurmukhi for param. Alright, what param means, I'm going to give you a few synonyms of the word. I'll give you some Punjabi words and English words so you can pitch it together. The whole talk will be an effort to explain this word. If you understand this word, you understand the theme of the camp. Okay? Vam. Heard that word before? Shanka. Heard that word before? English word, doubt. Heard that before? Okay, good. A doubt means what? Can someone tell me? Yes, sir. Being unsure of something. Being unsure of something, great. Okay, anything else? I think, yes. Uncertainty, perfect. Confusion, great. Duality, perfect. Okay, I'm going to give you a story. Okay, Bhagat Ravadashi has a Shabbat. And when this Shabbat, they go through about three different examples of this word Param. The Shabbat is Raj Pujang Prasang Jase Hahe. Okay, what, what that means is this. Raj means a rope. Pujang means a snake. Prasang means a story that has been coming for generations and generations. So in India, we were talking about context before, right? The theme of right now is misconceptions of spirituality. Okay? We were talking about context before. In India, there's been a lineage of sadhus, of spiritual teachers, spiritual beings. And they've been presenting the same example over and over and over again. And that example is what? The rope and the snake. Okay? And how this works out is like this. Imagine, it's early morning. You have a person who I'll call, I know you can't see that pretty small guy there, but this is a uh, Sing A. Yeah, Sing A. He gets up, is Amritvela, he's like, finally, I made it, I made Amritvela happen in my life, I'm so lucky. He gets up and he's in this camp. Right? He gets out of the cabin, and what happens in Amrita Vela is that the, the sun is not up, right? So it's not daylight at the same time, it's not nighttime either. It's somewhere in between, right? Amrita Vela Sama is like 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, that time where it's not exactly daytime, but it's not exactly nighttime either. It's like the twilight zone. You heard that word before? Twilight zone. In that moment, this sink, as he's walking out of the cabin, about 25 feet away, he thinks to see a snake. He thinks he's seeing a snake. Sing A looks forward and he sees what looks like a snake. But in actuality, it's actually a rope. Okay? So, Sing A, nice and big now is seeing about a few distance away, he sees what to be a snake. But it's actually a rope. What's happening now is that he's in a doubt. He's palekha lag gaya. He's in a palekha. Vam pae gaya. Is that a snake or is that a rope? If it was a rope, cool, I'll walk past it. If it was a snake, cool, I won't go near it. You get it? It's not black or white, it's in between. Does that make sense right now? Amritvela, twilight zone, a time in between. This illusion of the rope looking like a snake is in between. It's not a snake. He does not know if it's a snake or a rope. Because of that confusion, there's now a doubt created. There is a param created. Does that make sense? Now, a few more things to note. If it was daylight, if the sun was out, that's the sun, if the sun was out, then he would be able to spot 
that rope to be a rope. Does that make sense? If it was fully darkness, he would walk right past it and never known what was next to him. It's not what it's not good or bad that hurts you. It's not black or white that hurts you. It's in between that's hurting you. Does that make sense? Bhagavad Ravada, she defines the word param. We look for definitions of certain keywords and we don't know, but Guru Granth Sahaja has defined some of them already. They say, Madhave kya janiye param aisa. Jaisa janiye hoi na taisa. Param is what seems to be something, but it is not. A illusion. A illusion. Mithya is not a synonym. This word is thrown around the Gurbani. Doubt. It's an illusion. It seems to be something, but it is not. In that same way, this rope is using, sorry, the snake, right? Quote unquote snake, is using the support, the asra of the rope to create the illusion. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with the fact. Ready for it? The world, this world that we all live in, is this real or fake? Who said fake? Okay, how many people think the world is real? Raise your hand. Good, good. You could, it's just, this is for your own self. How many people think the world is fake? Raise your hand. How many of you think it is somewhere in between? That's the correct answer. <laughs> okay, they thought it was only two options. The third one was a secret. <laughs> I'm gonna explain this rope and uh, snake example through the world. The world does not truly exist, just like the snake does not exist. The world is using the asra, the support of Vahiguru to create the illusion. Just like the snake was using the sport of the rope to create the illusion. But it's not, that's not the only, the only concept. Remember the Amrita Villa? The being in between, the time is not daylight, it's not nighttime. It's in between. That same thing applies to the world. Because we don't know. It's not sun up. The sun is not out. If the sun was out, we would know that the world is not there except Vaigru is there. The sun is not out. At the same time, it's not pitch darkness because we see something around us. It is a doubt that we see. It looks like the world is real. It looks like the world is going to eat us up. It looks like tomorrow's problems are my biggest enemy. But the reality is what we're looking at is a snake that is using the projection of the rope to manifest itself. Is anyone confused? This is a very deep concept. The word param is just thrown out so easily. Param is just thrown out so easily. Why? Because we don't understand it ourselves. We don't understand this, so we kind of make up a pathway. Okay, maybe this is what param means. Maybe this is what it means. One example that Bhagavad Ravadas used to explain param is this, the snake and the rope. Now I'm going to give you a pankti the theme is about. And hopefully this pankti makes a little bit more sense now. The pankti was, Jyon supana, Ar pekhana aise jag ko jaan. In me kach saacho nahi nanik bin pagwan. I'm going to focus on the last three words. Bin pagwan. Bin means without. Pagwan. Pagwan means God. Vaikru. Besides God, nothing else is true. Nothing else is satcha. And they describe two things. They give us two themes. They say supna and pekhna. I'm going to give you another example of param given by Pagat Ravadashi. I'm explaining param. The theme Shabbat is all about param. Jyo supna or pekhna. But you're going to have to get to the conclusion of what that pankti means to you after learning this. Okay? One more example to give is this. Anala agam jase lahar me odat jal keval jal mahi Fancy words, I'll tell you what it means. You have an ocean. Right? Bhagavad Ravadashi says a huge gust of wind is coming in. 
when this huge gust of wind wind interacts with the ocean it produces waves does that make sense Who, who's a biology major here cool physics major science majors wow okay i'm going to teach you guys some science today so <laughs> wind interacts with ocean creates waves okay what bhagiravadashi is saying is this the ocean is ik ik means that parmatma that parmeshwar that vahiguru that cannot be seen okay that's everywhere but cannot be seen the wind is something called maya or something right so we all know maya means illusion right we know maya means illusion but another definition of maya is shakti is power okay why guru ji the one who does who cannot be seen does absolutely zero they are in a state of kinetic energy or potential energy which one does it move okay potential maya is kinetic energy it's moving it's always moving this world we see around us is maya like we all know maya is physical we can touch it we can see it what happens when maya pluses this ik it creates these waves this waves is the world does that make sense maya the wind plus this ik creates the world that we can see around us so this is another version of param because we see the world but we don't see the ocean and we don't see the waves why again because of the concept of agyanata it's a new word we learned param already doubt the other word is agyanata okay it's a two part word gyan means to know agyan means i don't know when i was talking about the amritvela twilight zone that was a state of i don't know what's in front of me is that a snake or is that a rope bhagiravadas ji talks about this raja a king he's sitting on his throne and he falls asleep on his throne right in his in his dream he has a dream in his dream he's walking around right he's walking around and he gets hurt he gets hurt and he's like oh man i go to a doctor he goes to a doctor he's like doc fix me up man and doctor's like cool i'll fix you up but i just got one rule and that rule is this you have to pay me first the king is like yeah mata raja huh? i'll give you anything you want and he checks his pockets like oh i i left my wallet at home and the doctor is like tere wang bathere dekhe main ya roji koi andar andar raja ban ke someone always comes to me as a king you pay me i'll fix you otherwise i can't fix you the king in his dream starts begging around he starts begging from house to house everywhere he goes no one recognizes him cuz it's a dream right no one recognizes him He's like, can you give me some money? Can you give me some money? No one gives him money. Finally, one person gives him one coin. When that coin hits his hand, the real raja, the king, he wakes up. His heart's beating. He looks around. He's confused. He says a question. This question is really important. He says, "Is this the truth, or was that the truth?" Is this chair that I was sitting on, this sangas in the world that I see around me, is that the truth, or was that dream the truth? What's the answer to this? The raja's guru walks into the darbar, and he asks the guru. He said, "What is true? Is this sangas in this world true, or was that dream true?" And the guru responds by saying, "Na ye such, na wo such, tum hi such." He says neither was that true the dream neither is this true but you are the truth what that means is that eternal truth sat after ek onkar we hear the word sat sat means the ultimate truth the ultimate truth is that rope we talked about the ultimate truth is the ocean and the wind the ultimate truth is vaiguru nanak bin bhagwan 